it was open to um, people who worked in public television. It, it was open to people who were affiliates of, uh, worked for affiliates of uh, CBS Network, and it was open to network employees. There were eight, eight fellowship. And um, I applied, and I had two. I, I had two secret admirers. I didn't know that. Both of whom were on the, on the selection committee. One was Charlie Collingwood, and the other was Lou Cowan, who was then the president of CBS. I had apparently he had been in the control room one day and had seen me operating, and you know, on high. Well, who's that kid? And things like that. I was always the kid. It was really very true, I, um, and so I won it. And uh, we got to Columbia, and it was for any discipline at Columbia except the journalism school. The idea was you, was, that you were to take courses and, and broaden your, uh, your knowledge. We were greeted by Jacques Barzin, who was then the dean of the school, and he looked at us, and we're a pretty elite group. I mean, there's no question about it, uh, that this was a pretty fancy crowd. And he said, you know, it's too bad this is only a year, because if you, if you were here for two years, you, you, you could all get masters. I said, what the hell, I, I, I'll, I can do it one year. Mind you, I had been working uh, at, at CBS where 12-hour days were normal. I mean, you were supposed to schedule for eight hours, but you stayed until the, sh the, the show went on the air, or until the feed came in, or whatever, a million reasons. So a long day was not a long day. And uh, I said to myself, I'm going to get it in one year. So I enrolled in the Russian Institute, um, and, um, and and got and got my master's in one. I took Russian the, the Russian Russian language, which got my language qualification out of the way because I had rudimentary French left over from from uh, when I was in college myself, uh, and um, uh, I got my master's in one year, and it, it really was. Um, it was being exposed to a very deep understanding of the Soviet system that stood me in extraordinarily good stead. Years later, when I was running evening news, uh, I could essentially uh, parse international affairs better than most because I had that, that two that year of intellectual stuff that was pouring in.